Sure, these leaks hurt our country. All of us in government can do better. We are taking a stand. This culture of leaking must stop. The nation's top law enforcement official is cracking down on government leaks. Attorney General Jeff Sessions says the Department of Justice has tripled the number of investigators. Now, we're told the leaks are coming from sources inside the government, including Congress and the executive branch, meaning they work for the president. Meanwhile, President Trump continues to question the investigation into Russian meddling in the campaign. The Russia story is a total fabrication. It's just an excuse for the greatest loss in the history of American politics. That's all it is. That's the president's take. Do you think the Russian story is a fabrication? You can vote right now, the WUSA 9 app or WUSA9.com slash vote. Going off script with us tonight, Glenn Ivey, former federal prosecutor, Rick Holzer, builder and developer in the DMV. Gonna start with you, Rick. Yes. Facebook friend, uh, Trump yeah, supporter, staunch conservative, goes back and forth with the Democrats on my personal Facebook page. Yes. Tell me why you feel the president's not getting a fair shake. Well, I think uh, his whole message is being lost in the whole Russia uh, story, and I think he's done a lot and profound changes to this country, and everything's getting lost in the whole circus. Okay, gonna come back to that. Mr. Ivey, uh, about these leaks. Yeah. Um, not every leak is a criminal offense, right? That's certainly true, and you know, certainly national security, and there's some others where they're specifically criminalized, but most of, most of them aren't. Uh, and you know, the interesting thing here is almost every administration goes through something like this. Obama did, Clinton did, Nixon obviously did. Uh, so yeah, I think this sort of routine in some ways. I think the bigger issue for the Trump administration is to, to sort of shut down not just the leaks, but what is being leaked. In other words, they need to clean up their act on what they're doing and, and how they're conducting business. You want to weigh in on that? I, I would have to uh, pretty much agree with that. Uh, I think the leaks are, are terrible and they're uh, really affecting uh, his policy and what he's trying to do. But try, but try this, why are the leaks terrible? Because obviously, and some people say these leaks come from national security, um, people have serious problems with the president and the direction they feel they have to get this word out. They do, but in, not in that, that way. And some of the leaks, I, I have to disagree with my prosecutor friend, some of the leaks are, are, are egregious and they're really bad. And, and uh, um, I, I'm not a prosecutor, so I can't say, but I do believe they are against the law and people are breaking the law and should be prosecuted for the, the leaks that are, um, that are uh, bad and, and um, damaging. Okay. You think they compromised the president in his talks with other world leaders? Absolutely. Okay. Without question. Because now I'm working my way up to this uh, 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 tran transcription, you know, that, that the Post was able to, to, to leak out there. Would, would, would that have been illegal? If you were a prosecutor, would you be interested in prosecuting well, somebody? Probably that, not. The conversation you had with the Mexican president? Yeah, but I think, the, 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 again, take for example some of the things where he'll make public statements about Russia today. Uh, or yesterday, there's no, there, the whole Russia thing is fabricated, but then he sits down with Putin and says, you know, at least in part, you know, you, what you guys did with the election was wrong. Then he kind of backed off of that. The biggest problem he has with credibility with world leaders is the fact that he's not on message, he doesn't have a foreign policy that's consistent, and he frequently con contradicts his underlings. Let, let me ask you this question from your prosecution uh, uh, ex experience. Um, if you're the prosecutor and you're looking at Donald Trump and the Russian investigation, you want to see his tax returns? Would that be one oh, of yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that Mueller's going to get his tax returns. He'll probably get bank records and the like. Uh, so when you impanel a grand jury, part of the reason you do it is because you have subpoena power. So right. And there's no red those. line, in, in, you know, uh, based on, you know, the, 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 the bill, the authorization that Mueller is operating under. He can look at anything he wants. He can look at anything. Tax returns would obviously be fair game because presidents used to always make them public anyway without. Well, that's where you're going to see it. anything. You're going to see it in the tax returns. And that's where I think people have to separate the story when people are talking Russia, Russia, Russia. You have to, you know, are they looking at Russia meddling in our election or are they looking at the collusion or possible collusion? Collusion that, itself is not the crime, though, right? Well, that's what they're looking for. That's what the whole witch hunt is about. And that's what I think uh, the president is so uh, intensely... Um, yeah, and, the, and the problem right. is it could actually be even worse than that because it's like Watergate and these other investigations. Right. 
the quote unquote cover up usually turns into the problem. So even if nothing criminal happened previously, if they make false statements under oath, for example, that's a federal crime. You, you said the president, the president has brought some of this on himself, right? Yes. I, I do believe... Uh, with his he, tweets? What? With his well, firing Comey? With what? I, I think it started uh, with firing Comey. I, I you know, I, I am not the president, but uh, I do, do, do not think that that was a wise move. At the time, he should have fired him right away. Okay. All right. If Gotta he go. wanted Gentlemen, to do thanks that. a lot to be continued.